guys we got our paint mixed up you guys are about to see right now what paint we went with with mater we got our eastwood contours lt100 i'll put a link below to this gun it's got a 1.3 tip we adjusted the fan we went ahead and cleaned it out it's a brand new gun so it comes with oils and stuff in it from factory but we got it cleaned out now and we are ready to spray we got our paint mixed up into here you guys can you tell can you tell what we went with let's lay it on and show you guys we just looked at it on a paint stick so we got a kind of a good idea what it's going to look like Man, this thing is going to look freaking good, so let's get it, guys. We just tack clothed it, and we're ready to go. Dude, that looks stupid good, man. That looks really, really freaking good. And that's just the first coat. So we'll come back, we'll do like, I think three wet coats is what the directions call for. I have to look back at them, but this is Eastwood Jaded Green. I'll put a link down below to it, guys, where you guys can look at it yourself. It's a three to one mixer. We'll show you the can here in a minute. But man, that looks really, really good. Show them the metallic flake up front. It's an all-in-one, so you don't actually have to add a clear coat on it, but we are gonna do a clear coat, and I can see where I'm lighting a couple spots too that I'll come back and when I do my second and third coat, I'll make sure to get it really good. But you guys may be seeing this grill. You may be new to the channel. This is off my 1951 Dodge one ton. It's actually a one and a half ton B-series uh, truck. That truck was a farm truck for a long time. To get this grill into even decent shape to be able to paint, we've got probably like, two days i don't know what would you say man two days probably into just prepping yeah, this probably grill. Two days. it took so long to get this thing right and it's not even perfect but there's a couple imperfections where our inlays are going to go so you may see some imperfections there but they'll be covered up we tried to m mainly focus on where it was going to be able to be seen when the inlays and the lights because the fog lights and stuff are going to be in there we try to mainly focus on those areas that are going to be able to be seen because this is of course just the shell of the grill we got to add everything else to it so man i think that looks really good obviously we're spraying oh, yeah. outside guys um we don't have a paint booth or anything like that uh, we may build something when we paint the whole body we don't know yet but just for this we may get a little trash in there maybe get a, a bug or two fly on it we'll have to wet sand it down and uh deal with it when it comes but as of right now i think we're good i don't think any bugs are dude that looks yet. so sick right there it looks color. really freaking good wait till we wet sand it i think we can wet sand it after like a few days or so i have to look but when we wet sand it it's gonna be oh god i got a buffer too. cut that cut and polish it polish it real good and then wax it you probably want to wait i don't a think couple we weeks can, for yeah that. i don't think we can wax it for a while but i think we can at least wet sand it somewhat soon it's looking good so far guys now, if you guys see that we haven't masked something off, which we got to fix that right there. The wind is really bad right now, so we're trying to wait for it to die down. It wasn't bad like 10 minutes ago, so we're hoping it dies down and we're able to paint this thing. But we got to fix our masking tape that just got messed up by a big gust of wind. If you see something that's not masked off, it means that it's either trash one or we have to paint it. It's like 
for instance the frame if we get overspray on the frame i'm not worried about it it needs to be prepped again leaf spring same thing it needs to be powder coated or painted same goes for the wheel liners as well they either got to be trashed and reordered or they need to be prepped for paint as well so they will be taken off so don't freak out about that but we'll give you guys a rundown if you haven't seen or you haven't been keeping up with the videos we bought this truck from a barn it was a farm truck it was a peanut truck we named mater we bought it out of a barn we have a video that you can check out right here or a playlist that i will put down in the description below where you guys can see every video we've made on this truck we've had it only about what a month a month maybe a little over a month a little over a month or so but this thing was in terrible condition we got about two weeks of straight body work into this truck it was in really bad shape guys so we had to spend a lot of time getting our lines pretty much as straight as we possibly could. It's not perfect, but we had we had to get it done in a certain amount of time. We can't just take a whole year on this thing. It is a YouTube project, so it does have to move pretty quickly to keep the videos up. But at the same time, we wanted to do as best a job as we possibly can. We're almost ready to spray. We're going to be painting inside the engine bay. Uh, once we pull the engine and replace it but we are going to make some videos with this engine because it is a good engine i like the engine but the interior is going to get the uh, door jams are going to get sprayed the same time as the interior so don't freak out about that we're going to be spraying the interior uh at a different time but anyway here's the front end we've got the radiator covered we got our 2k primer we're going to be spraying today which is already right here it's an arc product Pretty high build product. I think it's a four to one mix ratio, 10 to 15 minute flash time. We're doing about three coats, sanding with 400, seeing where our low spots are and then going from there. We're gonna be spraying with a 2.0 tip on our paint gun that we already have on here. And we are ready to roll guys. So this is just a primer gun right here. We've got another gun we've been using from Eastwood that's actually gonna be our base and clear gun. This is a Contour LT100 from Eastwood. I highly recommend this gun. We've been spraying with it a little bit and we are highly impressed. We got the grill that's in the back that you guys probably seen in the last video. That thing turned out really freaking good. But let's go ahead and get spraying guys. We're gonna set you guys up on a time lapse. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, smash that like button down below. Check out your Make Mater Great Again shirts that are down in the description below. People ask me why I don't wear them in the videos all the time because I'm just wearing old shirts i just don't want to get the brand new shirts uh dirty that's that's all guys let's do it dude you excited Got a lot of freaking time in his body i'm ready to see some primer on there <laughs> dude i always happen when we were starting to prime you know the, the steps the front bumper the, the uh, hood oh yeah the front clip i'll show him that real quick too so the hood is in pretty good shape compared to how it was hoods hoods looking pretty good guys front bumper we got touch up some things on it we got one of the bump one of the fenders was right there we got the steps right here. Those are going to be the steps. The bumper and the fenders are going to be a color. And then there's the last one right there. And the body is going to be a separate color. We just did a test 400 right there just to make sure we were all smooth. And we got to do the rest here in a minute. But dang, man. Dude, all these long hours, long nights, like 12 hour days most of the time. All comes down to this. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
guys. So it's the next day. I know this video is all over the place. That's just because the lighting got bad last night. But check it out. Bam. We got the whole thing primer. Three coats of primer. That high build stuff. We haven't sanded it yet. We're letting it sit for a couple days before we sand it with 400. But when we sand it out, I think it's going to look really good. It already looks pretty good. Give you guys a 360. Got our wheel wells. We got the cow. We even lifted up our AC vent and freaking sprayed right there so when we pop it up it doesn't look discolored from the body. Got our whole front end covered. Our fenders, everything looks pretty smooth. Yeah, there was that down. crack there. Yeah, there Can't was a crack there before we got what we had dip a diesel behind the camera welded up. But here it is guys, we've got a couple things we need to fill in, you know, some spots we need to fill in with some glazing putty, just some putty to put over it and make it smooth. Like some of our corners and stuff. Well, that corner actually turned out pretty good. There was a pretty yeah, good sized dent right there. There was a huge dent here, but we banged it out from the inside and just put a skim coat of Bondo on it. And man, it, it turned out pretty good. You guys can see just some minor imperfections, you know, that stuff's gonna happen through the primer, which we know that. So when we sand it with 400, we'll go ahead and put our putty on there. But we are about to spray our hood. Go check it out, guys. We have been prepping panels all day long. That fender right there is ready to be painted with our secondary color that I don't think we've shown you guys yet. I don't think we showed you our secondary color yet, so stay tuned for that. But we have our hood here. We just wiped it down with our pre-prep from Eastwood. And now, you guys already seen our single stage urethane. I don't know if I showed you the can yet though. So it's an advanced acrylic urethane technology, unsurpassed beauty and durability. Makes us three to one, make one sprayable gallon. Professional use only. I'm not a professional. That's the 3 to 1 activator right there. That's the activator. You guys can see it's the medium activator. So we are spraying at nighttime. It's about 7, 715 right now. You guys can see we yeah. don't have a booth. Sorry. Uh, we don't have the best stuff to do this. But I think we are going to get pretty good results because that grill turned out great. Oh, yeah. We showed you guys that grill. But we've been prepping all these panels. Those still have to be primed. It's our headlight bezels, our grill inserts. Uh, another grill insert there. We masked off the tree so we don't paint the freaking tree. <laughs> we got our second layer of primer, a second three coats of primer being prepared for the bumper. This fender and our steps over here. You guys can see we did our first three and then we kind of filled in with putty in a little bit. And same thing on this one. They're ready for their last three of primer and then they're gonna get the paint. So what you guys are about to see is a time lapse of the hood being painted. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started and see how it turns out. Guys, after our first coat, it's still really wet. It hasn't dried yet, so it this paint dries a lot better than it looks when it's just been sprayed. So it it settles itself a lot. The grill looked just like this, and we were like, ah, we don't know. Got a lot of orange peel, and then it settled. It like leveled itself out and settled. We really we didn't have that to. Grill, what like four or five days ago? Yeah, and it's that's smooth as glass right now. You want to go show them? We got yeah, time. Let's go show them. Alrighty guys, we got it out here in the shed because we don't want no dust or anything from the garage getting into it. Oh, damn. The lighting's not the best in here, so I hope you guys can kind of see. It's got a little dust on there from in here. Yeah, we got a little dent we got to pop out. We're trying to figure out the best way to pop that out without damaging the paint. This isn't the best paint job in the world, but... It did level itself out a lot. I'm trying to see if I can get a close-up for you guys. It's got this all dust right here from the lawnmower probably just coming in here. I don't know, but we see a little orange peel on my edges. I'm just not the best painter, but the rest of the body, and we can of course address the orange peel at a later date. You can wet sand it down, but this is the grill and it sat for three or four days. Cause we've just been getting everything else prepped and that body primed and just it's been taking a long time to do this i mean believe it or not these things take a long time guys oh, yeah. just that body we have like two weeks worth of work into that thing and still have some stuff to do on there we got some some pitting we got to fill in with the glazing putty 
Uh, but overall, I think it turned out pretty good. The body turned out pretty good uh, for how much work we put into it. Yeah. And uh, should look pretty good after it's all painted. Oh, yeah. It's not going to look the best, guys. It's not going to be the best paint job you've ever seen before in your life. But it should look pretty decent for beginners. And we're learning. So we'll learn on this one and make the next one better. It looks uh, good from about 10 feet away. From about 10 feet away, it looks like glass. <laughs> You get up close to it and it's like, ah. Yeah, so if you guys see us driving this truck, you know, stay 10 feet Yeah, back stay 10 feet and then y'all be good. <laughs> no pictures close up of this paint job. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I don't really care. We'll end up on truck rides. Yeah, we'll end up on truck rides. It'll be fun, though. It'll be cool. What's up, Smoke? What's up, Smoke? See, I keep I keep biting myself, so I got to have a cone for right now. So I got to have a cone for right manhood. now. You lost manhood. Yep, lost his manhood. Got neutered. Sit. Good boy, good High five. boy. High five. Good High five. boy. Yeah. He's just a puppy, guys. He's a good boy, though. Like I got another one in the house. Yeah, he's about 10 months, maybe if that. I don't even know. Got another one. He's a little bit bigger than this one. His name's Diesel. This one's Smoke. What's up, Bubba? Diesel Smoke. Diesel Smoke. <laughs> just got done cleaning up our gun. We're shooting with a Contour LT100 from Eastwood. It's doing a great job. We did get a couple heavy spots. It's really hard to show you guys this in the lighting that we have currently because we don't want to shoot this thing in the direct sunlight. So we've been waiting until nighttime to shoot our base. But we think for the most part, we should be good. We're definitely gonna have to sand this and wet sand it down. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I know it was all over the place. We've just been trying to get things done and also film it for you guys in the process. So shout out to Eastwood. This color's looking great. You guys saw the grill after it's been a few days. We're going to let this sit a few days and then do the same thing. We'll show you guys what it looks like after a few days. After that paint settles a little bit, we're no doubt going to have some orange peel. I'm not a professional. Uh, I'm not the best at shooting this. I don't have the best air compressors or best you know equipment in the world, but I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys think me and Dippin' Diesel are doing as beginners. Keep in mind this hood, 70 years old farm truck hood, it's not it was not in the best shape whatsoever so keep that in mind guys and keep your critiques and with that in mind but hey if you guys have anything that could help us out how we could do this better please drop that down below as well constructive criticism is always welcomed on this channel guys comment down below let us know smash the like button if you enjoyed it if you're new consider subscribing and we'll see you guys in the next one we got tons more things we got two boxes that just showed up from Ader yesterday so stay tuned ton more stuff coming for this truck can't wait to show you guys